Hello, good morning. Um, so I'm back after the half term. Um, we've had a couple of videos released since I came back uh, or since the half term finished, um, but they were filmed before the half term. So this is the first sort of proper bit of crafting that I'm I'm starting with with this journal um, since the kids went back to school. So I uh, hope you're all doing good. I can't remember for the life of me what we were up to. Um, I know we did the cover and I know we started, if I can hold that still, on some pages. And we did this half of the page. So we're, we're obviously onto this next page now. Um, haven't planned any of this and I can't quite remember what I'd grabbed to create with. So let me just swap my tray over and have a look here. So, yeah, not quite sure what what we're doing really um i've obviously grabbed a few bits now i was going to do an envelope page at one point that could be quite cool uh i've got some bits of stitched paper some scraps oh we've got one of these japanese envelopes that i pulled out as well hadn't i right yes it's coming back to me um oh and this i wanted to do to add in somewhere because I like this. Can you see what I'm doing? Am I doing it again already? It's been three minutes and already I can't figure out what I'm doing. Now, the one thing I had said with the, with this journal was I wanted to make sure that I used as much vintage ephemera as was possible. So that's kind of the aim. Now that could be quite cool. And I had said I was going to use this as a tuck spot which I think I may do. This is the end of a piano roll. So maybe we'll go with that. Maybe we'll collage the background and we'll do one side, we'll collage that. We'll do a couple of tucks and then when we've got this side, we could add maybe one of the little flippies or I don't know if I want to just bind that in separately. I'm not sure what I want to do with that. I'll pop it in a pocket or... Yeah, or maybe we could do one of the envelopes. See, these are... at the top and then you could have a tag in there so maybe we'll do that so yeah i think we'll do that first and foremost so let me shove all this to one side and pull some bits for collaging with i'm going to use some vintagey book pages I think I do have a little scrap of wallpaper as well that we could use. Possibly. Oh, is that like a wolf cat dog thing? Or is it a tree? I don't know what that is. No, maybe we'll just stick with book pages, actually. So let me just lift this out of the way. It's all so fragile. Um, yeah, so we'll do that. Do I want to fold that over? No, I'm not bothered. Right, so let's make one side sticky then. Let's get some glue on the go. So I hope you've all been all right and enjoyed your half term. Anybody else has got youngsters that we have to look out after in the half term. Um, when I left my full-time job, this was one of the reasons why, because childcare, I don't know what it's like anywhere else, but in the UK, so expensive. And we got to a point where I was working and the money I earned was literally to pay for someone else to look after my kids. I mean, my mum helped an awful lot, but, you know, they needed to not just be at my mum's for seven days, of, well, five days a week. She wouldn't have had them seven days. That's just mean. Um, but I was, yeah, in the end, I'm just paying for somebody else to look after my kids. Well, what, you know, I wanted to look after them. They're mine. So um, it just kind of made sense for us. Um, we were fortunate enough that we, we were able to do that um, because not everybody is 
so yeah we were very lucky that we could do that i like that this has got the little metal closure i'm even tempted to i don't really know what i want to do do i leave that as a flippy flappy and add some and maybe add a pocket there shall i do that let's collage underneath uh, what can i add as a I mean, i've got some more of the wallpaper i could use as a little pocket I don't know how or do I leave it as a bottom and a top I'm not sure hmm hmm what have I got what have I got what have I got if anyone can hear that that's my cat he's not in distress he's just an idiot see if I'm gonna have this this way first and then so the spine at this side that could be quite cool actually and it's quite sturdy so maybe I will put yeah let's just I'm going to collage the entire of this side and then trim it and then sort of take it from there so we've got some interesting pieces I can stick down So, as I'd said previously, everything I want to use in this journal is, um, I want to be original. So this is some vintage French document that we're using for our collaging today. But yes, the half term was, was super busy. We did lots of different things, which was lovely. And as I said, I'm very fortunate enough that you yeah, don't have to work well, I do have to work, but I don't, you know, I'm not full, full, full time um, that we can do bits and pieces like that. And uh, it was my birthday, the big 4 -0. Thank you for all the lovely birthday wishes, by the way. Lots of lovely, lovely messages from people. And we finished the bathroom at long last, which was very cool. So busy, busy. And should we have a little bit of that overlapping there, or maybe this small piece? So the kids are back at school now and it means I get more time to do a few bits. I don't know if anybody watched my last horrendous video. I don't know what happened the last time I filmed the making of this journal. Um, I was stitching one of the pages, well, the only page I've made so far. I'd stitched around and somebody came to my door and then I went through some sort of black hole or something like that something happened because suddenly I want that there um because suddenly when I came back from answering the door my um I switched the camera back on it filmed it didn't pick up the audio I don't remember this but I switched the camera back on clearly a second time filmed some more Again, no audio for some reason. How oh, this is blooming recording, uh, my voice. Um, and I did the same thing again. I stitched the same pocket on twice. I don't understand. I am so, so genuinely confused. I mean, I'm sure there is a perfectly reasonable explanation. I just don't know what it is. So, yeah, really confused by that. Very, very strange. But by the by, in that so so I the the, the second stitching, as it were, um, I thought, well, sod it, we may as well stick it on YouTube. So um, I published that. Um, well, I did it ten minutes ago. I don't know when you're watching this, but the, yeah, I published that. So the little ten minute vid, 
and um yeah in that I did waffle on and tell you my plans for the coming do I want to do a bigger one there no I'll just do a little bit yeah so what's what's happening next so we're going to be um we I am going to be opening a TikTok shop um that's something a few people have suggested to me to do and as you all know this is not just a hobby for me this is my full-time job or full-time as much as the kids allow job so um you know times are hard at the minute you know not everybody's got lots of disposable income so i'm hoping that um we can do some fairly fun inexpensive um journal supplies that will be available on tiktok um uh, hopefully reach out to a wider audience um and try and make them uh, cost effective and um you know i think journaling can be so good for so many things you know mental health um being one of them and you know i think it's something that um, a lot of people are into um or want to be into but don't know how to get into it so it's things like my beginners kits um the ephemera packs that's the sort of thing that i'm thinking would be suitable for, for tiktok obviously etsy is my big shop um you know there's a selection of things on create and craft i've got a selection of things will be going in tiktok but etsy is, is the big shop um where you can get everything um but yeah but it's just it's something else so so that's cool um i also received my first patron oh um i'd forgotten or, or patreon on patreon um, I'd forgotten that I'd even set that up because nobody ever took it up. Um, but I got my first one, so there's going to be another video about that. That is basically going to be used as a subscription service um, with three different tiers. I'm going to go through it in, in another video, but so that's something else that I'm going to um, be working hard on. Um, and um, I've got some ephemera packs I'm putting together as well, uh, which will be released, not just on tiktok but on etsy as well some some handmade big ephemera packs so i'm gonna cut this um yes yeah, so look out for those soon so lots lots in the pipeline lots of busy busy um once time allows i don't really know why i cut that i don't really like the sharp edges but anyway anyway we've done it now so there we are so do i want you see i could have that and something else at the bottom or do i just have it maybe i will just have it as a tuck i feel like there's gonna be lots of flippy flappies and i could just stitch along there couldn't i, I could stitch around or glue along there and stitch around maybe is that gonna break over time do you think hmm Either way, we're going to trim the edges. And I'll think about that. Think about what I want to do there. Um, speaking of people trying to be cost effective and cost of living and all that jazz, um, I am going to be used, doing some more scrap box makes um i have got so much stuff and stash that needs to be used up um i quite like the bright one actually um yeah that needs to be used up so i'm gonna um be doing some sort of not clearing stuff but like using up your stash kind of things um so yeah i've got a few ideas for a few video series and and yeah i need to stop buying craft supplies or yearning for craft supplies and just use the stuff i've actually got right i feel like i'm going to do a fabric hinge here because i don't really want to cover that so before i decide what i'm doing here i'm going to do a little fabric hinge so could you work maybe i could do two maybe you're a bit small let's put some of this fabric um this is the danger of not planning you see oh the red works quite well doesn't it with that so 
let's I think I used this as part of a spine on one of my chunky journals so let's attach this okay so I'm using my three in one glue smush and that and then we want to leave a little bit of room to fold it sorry i'm doing the thing with the glue again so let's just kind of fold there that's kind of I want one of those bone folders that are for sorry that are for fabric I've seen people use them they're like magic like what sort of witchcraft because mine doesn't do anything particularly I need an iron and I don't have one well I do have one but I'm not using one but I've seen people use these special fancy bone folders and apparently they're different to normal bone folders and they properly crease your fabric, like straight away without, as I say, ironing or anything. They look brilliant. Okay, that's cool. I like that. Um, haven't decided what I'm doing here. And I need to think, do I, I think I do want to run a stitch around it all. I think that will help hold this in place as well. So I'm going to pause the camera and I'm going to... Let me think. I'm going to pause the camera and I'm going to use this as my opportunity. No, I'm not. I'm going to do a separate sewing video. I've promised a few people that I'm going to do a sewing video and I was just going to do it then. But no, I'm going to do it separately because it'll be a proper video then. Ignore me. Right. I'll be back in a second. Hey, so I'm back. So I've stitched all the way around. As you can see, which has secured that quite nicely. I haven't stitched onto the envelope itself because I don't want to. I think... Yeah, it's going to hinder where I'm going to put a, a tag in there. So that's that. Um, I'm going to leave this side for now because I haven't decided. I'm either going to glue along and have a tuck top, top and bottom or a flap. I, but either way, I think I'm just going to leave that side for now. I may even leave it to see if the new, you know, whoever ends up buying it wants to to have a decision there. So, So we've got a little flippy flappy thing and then I want to do something underneath here. Now, what I might do is some sort of fabric something, I'm thinking. Now, what did I do with those piles of fabric a second ago? So I've got these little hessie any pieces and I might do something with them I don't know what I'm saying I might I genuinely don't know what I mean I could do like a little fabric pocket or a full so I don't do a full side tuck because I've got to bear in mind for that I might do a little pocket so shall we do something like that now I'm just going to snip along there. You can see, obviously, there's a natural crease to this. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. So that's... Let me fold this back up. I'm trying to be a tidier worker because I find I'm having to clean this room up, like, a ridiculous amount. And when it's such a small little diddy room, it's hard to work when it's a mess it does get messy man right there we are so I might have a little fabric pocket there now this is the perfect opportunity to put some embellishing embellishments I don't know what word that was some embellishments or embellishing on now I have bits like this that I quite like that I could either stitch or 
glue on. Um, I have my little Edgar Allan Poe picture, which now I did say I was going to use proper photographs, so no, I'm not going to use him. Um, I've got some beads, I've got some, I've got a, an old 1P, I've seen them for a while. Crikey. Um, nothing too bulky because we've got to bear in mind that but i might put i might put a photograph here ha huh, now right okay i have just got i've just taken delivery of let's see that's on the side a rather large box let me just take my address of this like a clearance sorry that's really loud box of photographs that i literally got delivered about an hour ago and I haven't really gone through them yet. These are the, I ordered some cabinet cards. I think one of them, the, the gentleman that sold me them said he, he lost. So he's, I think he's just stuck these ones in instead. They're quite cute. So the cabinet cards. So these are for, for scans and stuff. And I had the briefest of flick throughs. But this is this is so cool. This is so much more than I expected. Um, obviously, I bulk buy where I can because it's cheaper. Um, because anybody that's ever bought a mystery box or... Um, any of my sort of kits knows that you'll usually get an original photograph in there so I bulk buy them I'm going to do um there's a wedding journal coming soon so that's really cool for that so there's a couple, a couple of cabinet cards um they're really cool and then there's just so many I mean look there's just tons and tons it's so much more than I expected a vintage photograph so i wonder if i could find a small one that might fit there or failing that so i'm gonna have a quick flick through whilst we're chatting or failing that i've got a um a uh, an american yearbook which is quite cool i could use a yearbook photograph what the hell is that Answers on a postcard, guys. I mean, I haven't got it's something dodgy. I don't know. <laughs> what sort of box is this? And oh my god, look at the doggo! Oh, I love him. He's going in a kit. Um, there's so many cool pictures. Oh, another wedding one. Let's take that to one side. Uh, we want something small. It's a Christmassy one. Oh, look at that. Snowy garden. Uh, it's got to be something small enough to fit, and if not. Ooh. Oh, that's the dog. Oh, these have come out a bit funky, haven't they? Hmm. Um, pretty house. Yeah. So if not, then I'm going to get the yearbook out. So let me quickly see stuff like that. I like to do um, writing. I always wanted to be a writer, and when I see stuff like that, that just makes me want to sort of just start getting into writing some sort of mystery. Do you know what I mean? I find things like that just so intriguing. Like, why is somebody taking a photograph of a watch at a particular time? That, I love stuff like that. I made a writer's journal a long, long time ago with just random little bits and pieces tucked away as prompts. And um, I might do another one of those again. If anyone would be interested in one of those, please let me know. Because, yeah, literally just the most obscure little prompts and bits and pieces just to get the creative juices flowing um yeah cool what's that oh an old ticket uh, these are all much bigger aren't they i'm not sure i'm gonna find so a really pretty girl then oh how cute Jennifer Ann, aged one year, eight months, March 14th, 
Sweet. So, so I love stuff like this. I should have done like a proper video of this really, but never mind. Right, some small ones now. They're all still a little bit big, aren't they? Shall I grab the yearbook? What time is it? Yeah, because time's rattling on now, isn't it? I just get lost in boxes like these. Oh, there's a few. Is that a little baby? Yes. Oh, sweet. She looks thrilled. <laughs> When the second baby arrives. Oh, there's some such cool pictures in here. I'm really pleased with this box. Um, another wedding one. This was from, um, it's called 1968, I think, on Etsy. Um, but it's spelled out rather than written as numbers. So 1968. I like that. Oh, there's some such cool stuff in here. Yeah, they sell, they've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of photographs for sale and cabinet cards, and they're so reasonably priced. And they are always really um, quick to deliver. I think they, they were delivering overseas and then they stopped when the whole issue with. Um, Royal Mail carried on, but that's kind of resolved now, so I don't know if they're going to resume that. So, but worth checking out, definitely. Um, right, let me get the yearbook because I definitely want a photograph. Oh, hang on, I've got a basket here with some small ones in as well. Are any of you small enough? No. Oh, where have I put the yearbook? Oh, blooming neck. all right i think it's in my wardrobe i have a big wardrobe in here that's full of stuff um right let's get a little diddy one from here see a lot of these are quite blurry a small square one There's some small ones of her Joan Joan we choose you there we are pretty right so back to where we were so I'm just going to take the pocket off for now I'm going to just get my needle and thread and I'm just going to stitch that on um, I have some of this really pretty um, I don't know what colour you'd call that natural apparently um where's the end of it are they usually hidden under one of these no where's the bloody end for goodness sake the other one sorry i've got two of them uh, so let's just snip a bit of that grab a needle yeah i'll just stitch this round and then I think I'm going to add like a little cluster behind Joan. Um, oh, do we want to put a slightly behind the stitching though? Let's have a think. It's a pretty girl, little Joan. Right. So, I'll just put one more knot in that actually. Right, so let's get a little cluster. So we could have a little bit of, that's probably not big enough, is it? That'll be better. Tear the edges of that. A little bit of vintage book page. I'll grab a little bit of lace from somewhere. Um, probably a little bit of cheesecloth. Have I got some cheesecloth somewhere? 
bear with. Quite a bit of a cheese puff there. And I did just get a massive, and when I say a massive delivery, I mean a massive delivery of laces and fabrics. Um, although I could just got my scrap in there, hang on. So this is the trouble when you don't plan what you're doing. You just get to listen to me sort of stretching for things in my room uh, quite a bit. So I have, this is one of my scrap baskets. This is the lace one. So this is just full of little scrippy scraps of lace and stuff. I want to stick to the same colours. It's a bit of that. What sort of some grungy oh that's from the Halloween journal. Oh we'll keep that out. Um a little bit there. Snip some of that off, that could come in handy. All right, let's let's just make a cluster out of this. I think I probably will stitch first. I think then we'll just sort of lay it. on top but I think I might have it slightly hung down you know like that where's my spray I don't know if I mentioned this to you previously this is my new favorite product stick and spray absolute genius no longer do you have to bother with trying to hold and pin stuff into place I I'm sure this has been around for an absolute century but I've only just discovered it and I think it's the dog's what's it's amazing. It saved my poor little poor poorly hands. Like I can't tell you. So I'm sure there's a proper way to stitch these on, but I just sort of go for it. Try and make inconspicuous little teeny tiny stitches just to hold it into place and then we'll glue this pocket on I think and then we'll glue Joan on and then I think we should call it a day because I think this is turning into a long video again and I do I did want to try and keep them under half an hour but I feel like the first half I think was about 20 minutes and we're on 15 here already so that ship has sailed, unfortunately. Okay. Oops. Ow. Just jabbed myself. Really, I'm terrible at this, at, at sewing, you know. I need, um, I shouldn't say I need help, but never a true word spoken. I need to watch some videos and tutorials, particularly about embroidery. I'd love to do some embroidery on some. Um, and I did a while ago. I started embroidering on vintage envelopes on my old envelopes, sort of little garden pictures. I saw Carol Laws do it. Um, embroider some flowers on the bottom of some envelopes and they, they look so good. I was like, I want to do that. They'd look so pretty in a journal. But I was terrible. The paper kept tearing. I didn't know what sort of stitches to use. Oh, yeah. Disaster. So this is probably the most inaccurate stitching you've ever seen in your life. But never mind. So I have kind of left that a bit pockety. I mean, it's stuck down with the stick and spray. Um, I don't know, should I go back round? No, I'm going to leave it like that. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Beautiful, eh? There's a way to do this as well, isn't there? Pull your thread to get your knot right at the bottom. You see what I mean? I'm not very good at all this stitching. Malarkey. There we are. Snip. Get rid of 
those. See, tidy as we go along. Right, I'm just gonna use my small scissors and I'm just gonna trim all the netty bits from the bottom because we don't need any of that jazz on there now. There we go. I missed that entirely, didn't I? Right, cool. So we've got Joan and we want some bits and pieces. Do we want a bit of that behind Joan? Is that not grungy enough? I don't think. Some of this stuff. Or just cheesecloth. You'd think I'd learn my lesson. That's how I cut my finger last time, like snipping towards my hand. Sort of a trimmed down version of that, maybe. well so i've also got some stamps i pulled out and sort of chucked to one side that we might use now i think she wants a button let's give her a button so i'm going to stitch this together first i'm just going to Glue to hold some bits in place. Quick stitch around and then we'll stick a button on her. Okay. So because I've only just put only put a little dot of glue, I've got room for manoeuvre with all this cheesecloth. I'm quite happy with that actually. Right, just going to whiz this around the sewing machine. I'm not going to pause you this time. I'm just going to crack on. I won't be a second. Okay. And just trim those a tiny bit. See, I could use one of the little safety pins. Let me move this pile of stuff. Should we pop a little safety pin on her? Got a really small one there. Yeah, I'm gonna do that now. I'm just gonna use my needles just to plunk the holes through. So these are the rusty needles that I got previously from a lady on Etsy. Now I hope I'm gonna be able to get that in. Hmm. I think the ladies shop where I bought the rusty stuff from, I put on the first video of this series in the description if you want to hop back and take a look. Because they were really cheap, really inexpensive. Um, and saved me doing it. There. What do you think? Does it need a bit of something else? Can you see what I'm doing? I don't know if you saw any of that at all. I feel like it wants something dark behind it. Um, 
I've got one of my tickets. Let me get one of my uh, my little tickets out of my cupboard. Hang on. Bear with. So these are my sort of oldest tickets. Maybe a, oh, do you reckon a bit of green to break it up. Yeah, I think that just breaks it up a little bit, doesn't it? So let's just shove some glue on there. Yeah, cool. And we'll stick this on. Plenty of glue. It doesn't matter if it seeps through because you won't see it but we won't attach it until this has dried. And it is seeping through. So we'll leave that to dry and then we'll attach it. But that's it so far for today then. I feel like that was quite successful. So my cage that I've shoved to the side here. So we've got this one, which we will decide what we're gonna do with that but for now it's staying as is and then we've got the little flappy pocket we need to make a tag for that and then our little joan when she's dried will sit like that obviously there's other bits of embellishments and tabs and stuff we're going to come back and do once we've put the journal together but so far i'm quite i'm quite pleased with that move her up slightly because obviously there's going to be the um twine binding but I'm quite pleased with that little Joan. Like it. Lovely. Right. I'm going to leave it there then because this has gone on for way longer than I anticipated. I'm going to let Joan dry um, and then we will stick her in. Um, but yeah, happy days. Thank you so much for joining me. See you later. Bye bye. Oh, like and subscribe. Bye bye.